this video begins, I want each and every one of you guys to know that the intro and outro dialogue that I'm about to read you is subject to change. This is not official, this was a leak over on Reddit, and that's what we're going to be getting into today. So everybody, welcome to Grizz Zombies. My name's Violent. Drop a like on this video if you go on to enjoy. We're going to be talking a bunch of juicy, juicy DLC1 stuff, so subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. If anything here sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. So with DLC 1 being on January 30th, we are now less than three weeks away from the launch of DLC 1 Resistance. And now we have an intro and outro dialogue leak. At first, we did not think that any sort of leak would be happening for DLC 1, seeing that it's completely digital, no one's going to have a copy of the disc. How did this happen? I cannot tell you. That's why this information is subject to change. And I want you to take everything with a grain of salt. So that's pretty much your spoiler warning. You should have got out of here if you're not ready to listen to this. So we're going to start right away with the intro dialogue. And the leak reads as followed. Marie, it's too soon for us to be back in the field. Rodea was wrong to send us out. Drosten, yeah, anybody else wish he hadn't survived in the train wreck? Oh shit. Olivia, I watched you at the briefing. You don't like this place. Jefferson. What is it? Rodeu said you've been here before. Drosten. Yeah, well, this place has got some history. Poking out at the sea like Lucifer's middle finger. That part is written out as dialogue, but he might be just flicking off the sea. Drosten. I'm not surprised Straub came here to this piece of shit island. I'm just wondering why we followed him. Marie. We need to find the rest of the sword before he does. We need to. Olivia. We know why you're here, Marie. At least this time, you're not pretending to care about the cause. Marie, this is different. We should have heavy fog all morning. If everything goes well, nobody will fire a shot. Drosten. Yeah, when has everything gone well for our little tea party? Drosten. Oh shit. Oh shit. Jefferson, stay close. Let's move people. Olivia. But where is the other boat? Drosten. This damn island. This goddamn island. Olivia. Shh, calm. Jostin. Still feeling optimistic, darling? Jostin. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I wish we were back in Germany. So there you have it. That is the intro leak that we got so far over on Reddit. And what we can gather is that a direct mission is stated by Marie. We need to find the rest of the sword before he does. We need to. So that is clearly what the Easter egg is going to be about. And we all sort of guessed that. We got the hilt in the final Reich. We imagine that it's the sword blade moving forward in the darkest shore. Let me know in the comment section where you guys are kind of leading as to where the ending's going to be. We got the Robin Hurst. We were able to resurrect Kloss. But apparently he just committed suicide anyway. So Kloss Fisher uh, is dead or he's not dead. Apparently over on Twitter they've said that apparently he'll be returning in the darkest shore and from there we're not sure exactly in the storyline where Klaus is going to be fitting in. He does resemble the guy in the intro cutscene that gets his chest torn open which I find is very weird. I don't think that is Klaus because how can he just be a reoccurring dying character but yet we're trying to save him and we can never quite do that. I don't understand that part of the storyline. But what seems to be interesting here is that Drosten has been to this place before. He states how Rodeu uh, wish he would have died in the train wreck, but he did survive. Marie does state at the beginning of this leak, It's too soon for us to be back into the field. Rodeu was wrong to send us out. So she believes that they're out in the field too early after the final Reich takes place. Rodeu did survive, so there's some sort of meetup that happens here. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. But Rodeo survived. We know he's in the headquarters. I'm right outside of his actual office right now in the headquarters in this game footage. And right now what you're seeing is I'm opening a ton of zombie supply drops. And that's because I've been doing the glitch lately. Just racking them up and unlocking my inventory. I have something like 16 more weapons that I need in my base inventory and I got all of it. So this is a great way to do that. And there's an unlimited supply drop glitch happening right now. And I have a video that I covered on that, so it'll be the top link in the description box below if you're interested and you're still playing World War II Zombies. There's an unlimited supply drop glitch that you need to get your hands on before it's patched. 
Update 1.09 is coming, but we're not quite there yet, boys. We still have a lot of game updates that are rolling out each and every day, sometimes multiple a day, and that's just simply addressing small things that aren't really affecting zombies at all. It's just weapon nerfs and buffs for multiplayer. There's a lot of discrepancies, actually, between the esports players and our casual players and how nerfs are happening. They're not happening for the casual players, they're happening for the pro players, and that's kind of how it's being figured out with nerfs and buffs. It's interesting. But we've had a hard look at the intro cutscene. We got some great dialogue from that. Now, on the other side of the coin, we do have the outro cutscene actual dialogue. And I'm going to read that for you now because it does hint to where we're going in DLC 2. And if you're anything like me, you're very curious as to where we're kind of going in zombies here. So let's go ahead and start with the opening dialogue of the outro cutscene. Starts with Jefferson. Now, people, now. Marie. Straub. He's escaping. Olivia. Not without us, he isn't. Jefferson, you've got to be kidding me. Drosten, I told you we were fucked. Drosten told ya. Jefferson, well there goes our cavalry. Drosten, yeah, we've gone from bad to worse, mate. Marie, he's bringing his army to Britain? Olivia, no, something's wrong. We're not going to England. Straub has other plans. So there you have it. That is the outro dialogue, and I'd be a little disappointed if that was it. Seems to be almost twice as much dialogue in the intro as the outro, and they always do this. They don't make the outro near as powerful because they're trying to do such a, a hook, a cliffhanger to keep you going, and I just think they need to go out with a bang each and every time. But it's definitely less than half of the dialogue that we had in the intro cutscene that we have leaked right now. Now, I honestly have no clue how this got leaked, but it's over on Reddit. A guy named Nawo actually put this out in dialogue form. I'll have it linked in the description box below if you want to check out this source for yourself. I always list everything that I'm talking about in my description box, so if you guys do end up subscribing, which I hope you do, you will be able to always check my sources in the description box. I have them there written pretty clearly. But we have a strong outro right now, and it's very surprising to me considering that the entire Easter egg with the Final Reich was beaten before the game actually came out in the United States. I was sitting here about an hour beforehand and the Easter egg was solved on their live streams and it just blew my mind. And now we have the intro and outro cutscenes to DLC 1 in written form leaked and I find that interesting. I don't know why that had to happen or why we're here today actually talking about this but I'm here for you guys. I'm here for the legit information that I can put out today and yesterday we had an unlimited supply drop glitch that's been out for almost a month now and I had to get that to you guys as soon as possible but I was keeping on the down low for a long time and I felt like it was time for you guys to know so that's what you're seeing in the background right now and you can keep doing this it hasn't been patched yet but it will be coming up shortly um, this is definitely a way that Sledgehammer is losing money and Activision will eventually see this but it's completely their fault plain and simple it's just coding errors that are constantly happening and it just seems like they're behind the ball so much during this season past that I'm not sure if DLC 1 will revive World War 2 zombies but I know Black Ops 4 is absolutely gonna be a banger and we're all just waiting for that new info to drop each in every day. I know we're all Black Ops fans and Treyarch fans. We all are deep down. And once the ball gets rolling a little bit more, we can present more storyline information that all of you guys will be more willing to watch and enjoy. I realized that on my channel lately, I did a top five for Infinite Warfare and it didn't do well. I did some zombie storyline for Black Ops 4 and they didn't do well. I'm very proud of those videos though. They're really big accomplishments and they're actually really good if you guys go back and check them out. But I recommend the channel. It's got a lot of interesting zombies talk and conversation amongst all the games. I'm trying to focus the channel more so now on World War II zombies leading into DLC 1. But after DLC 1, I'm hoping we can get some Treyarch teasers in. Some real Treyarch teasers outside of what David Vonderhaar recently tweeted about Mob of the Dead. It was a picture of all of the best memes of remaster Mob of the Dead that we know of and have seen over on Twitter and around the internet. Very intriguing stuff. It really points towards this being a strong possibility. I didn't think it was enough to make a video on, so I wanted to make an end note on it so you guys know that it's possible and coming. But Black Ops 4 is where it's going to be at, but right now we're on our road to DLC 1, January 30th, guys. I'll see you out there. Violin out.